Hi guys, it's Tuesday, so I have a tip for you. Oh my God, look at all those gray hairs. Oh, sorry. Oh, speaking of gray hairs, I want to talk to my master's athletes. What a great segue. Uh, hi, master's athletes. Um, if you're uh, new to CrossFit or uh, don't know golf very well, um, the term master's athletes might be uh, a little bit foreign to you. That basically refers to the 40 plus category, although uh, CrossFit's introducing a 35 uh, plus master's division now. Um, we do have a few more needs than our younger uh, counterparts, and I want to address those. Um, first of all, what we're trying to do here is stay in the game as long as possible, right? This is for longevity that most of us are doing this for. Um, so how do we stay in the game? By taking care of ourselves. The first point I want to make is about nutrition, especially post-workout nutrition. And this is really applicable to anybody, but um, when we are working out, what we're actually doing is breaking down muscle tissue, tissue over and over again. And then the body repairs and rebuilds, and usually it rebuilds bigger, better, faster, stronger. Well, we don't fuel our bodies right away. It doesn't have have anything to hasten that process of recovery and then it ends up taking us a longer time number one and then number two we end up more prone to injury right so get yourself a little shaker bottle, get some really good grass-fed whey powder, protein powder. Um, there's a lot of options on Amazon for that if you can't find any in stores. And add to that some fruit juice. Our muscles love sugar, especially when it comes to repair and recovery. Um, some high glycemic um, fruit juice or banana or something to that effect. Um, it's a great combo. Honestly, get used to carrying food with you everywhere you go because um, if you work out more than three days a week, you really want to have um, a, a fuel store available to you as, as often as you can. Um, the second point I want to make is about supplementation. Um, even if you're really good about uh, eating your vegetables, chances are you're deficient in magnesium. We have to eat like a pastured cow to really have um, a, a sufficient magnesium supply. Uh, magnesium is a natural muscle relaxer and it also um, is responsible for like 300 different metabolic processes in our bodies. So um, that and fish oil. Fish oil is very well known for keeping inflammation down also, and um, especially if you can get fermented fish oil, which I know is like so gross, but it's really, really good for you. Um, the third point, mobility, right? Um, you cannot ignore this, Masters athletes. Five minutes before class, five minutes after, particularly after, I know we're in a hurry to get to work or get home or whatever. Um, if you don't know what to do, ask Gretchen. Gretchen is very knowledgeable. Um, all the coaches can help you out with some uh, mobility tool or trick um, to help you with whatever ails you. Um, main thing here is if you are sore for more than two days, three tops, um, there's something going on that we need to take a look at. Something is deficient somewhere. Um, if you're pretty good about your mobility, especially you're getting adequate sleep, but you just can't seem to fight the soreness for, um, for longer than um, two days, uh, we need to take a look at that. Um, uh, sleep, if you're losing any kind of sleep or uh, your sleep seems suddenly disrupted, um, that's another little bit of a red flag that there's something deficient, uh, whether it's in your nutrition um, uh, or, or even mobility. Um, if you have the same injury over and over and over again, um, that's another little bit of a red flag that um, should uh, alert you to um, investigation, deeper investigation, and I can help if you need. Um, all right, so three take-home points, right? Post-workout nutrition, uh, supplementation, and mobility, mobility, mobility. Thanks, guys.